Most recovery occurs within the first three to six months, but can still take place gradually over a course of few years. Oh, hello! My name is Pavan and I'm a physiotherapist from Singh Health Community Hospitals. Hi Pavan, can you please tell us what is a stroke? A stroke is essentially a condition that's caused by the disruption of blood supply to the brain. This can lead to temporary or permanent damage to the affected parts of the brain and also cause neurological deficits. And what are symptoms of a stroke? The symptoms of a stroke can be spotted by the FAST acronym. F stands for facial drooping, such as an uneven smile on one side of the body. A stands for your arm dropping, also on one side of the body. S stands for slurred speech or unclear speech. And T stands for time, whereby the affected individual or their next of kin should be calling 995 for them to seek emergency medical attention. How is a stroke diagnosed? A stroke is diagnosed with a combination of patient's history, physical examination and brain imaging. A CT scan is usually required and if the CT scan is unable to detect a possible stroke, then an MRI scan will be required. I see. So what are the causes of a stroke? There are two main causes of stroke. One is the ischemic stroke whereby there is a blockage to the blood vessel due to a clot. Second, we have the hemorrhagic stroke which is bleeding in the brain. Both types will disrupt the blood supply to the brain and the most common contributing factors are high blood pressure and smoking. How is stroke treated? Treatment for stroke depends on the type. Ischemic stroke patients will be prescribed blood thinners to prevent further formation of the blood clot. If they are able to arrive at the hospital shortly after the symptoms appear, they will be given thrombolytic therapy or mechanical thrombectomy, whereby medication or a procedure is used to stop the bleeding or remove the clot. Hemorrhagic stroke patients will require urgent neurosurgical consult to assess the need for surgery and address the bleeding or remove the clot. How does a patient recover from stroke? The time taken to recover from a stroke differs from patient to patient. Most recovery occurs within the first three to six months, but can still take place gradually over a course of few years. Our stroke survivors undergo a rehab program to help them achieve as much independence as possible. However, in a situation if that's not possible, we will then introduce modifications to the activities of daily living or to identify dedicated caregivers for them. And how soon does rehab start after a stroke? With medical team clearance, stroke rehab typically commences within 48 hours of stroke onset. Our physiotherapists, occupational therapists and speech therapists conduct assessments and structured therapy sessions based on individual needs. Uh, we encourage self-practice exercises out of therapy sessions to facilitate further improvements. What exercises or activities should a stroke patient perform? The exercises given to each patient will differ on depending on their type of deficits that they have. It can start as simple as simple strengthening exercises or even breaking down a complex task such as walking to focus just on one component to help them regain their function. Our occupational therapists practice activities of daily living and sometimes we use adaptive strategies such as using this modified fork to help with feeding. Uh, we do upper limb retraining using evidence-based strategies such as using an electrical stimulation machine to reactivate some muscles that have not been used. Otherwise, we also do cognitive training. We can do attention training, problem-solving skills training and memory training. Post stroke, some of our patients may also have communication and swallowing issues. That's when our speech therapists, also known as STs, will come in to assist them with that. If a patient is known to have swallowing issues, our STs can come up with strengthening exercises to assist with that and also work very closely with the next of kin to help prepare food and drink safely for our patients to reduce their risk of choking. For communication-wise, our STs can come up with certain strategies to assist our patients to learn simple words for them to effectively communicate with their loved ones. How can we prevent a stroke? Eating a healthy diet, regular exercise, quitting smoking and reducing the consumption of alcohol can help to prevent stroke. Compliance to medication and close follow-up to chronic health conditions like diabetes, hypertension and high cholesterol are essential. <laughs>